Five ideas from the book The Power of Full Engagement. Managing energy, not time, is the key to high performance and personal renewal by Tony Schwartz and Dr. Jim Lur. Tony Schwartz wrote here a book about the essence of 20 years of coaching with large companies to make them better with, for example, Toyota, Ernst Young, Sony, Procter Gamble, Deutsche Bank, Ing, Diba, Ford or Mastercard. He worked together with Dr. Jim Lur to create the book. Jim Lur worked for many years with competitive athletes. They both construct many findings and now we will tell you the most important ones. Idea number one. Manage energies, not time. Here we see Steve. Steve is a highly respected 37-year-old partner at Ernst Young. He's married and he has four young children. When the authors met him, he was working 12 to 14 hours a day. He barely found time for sleep, exercise, family, healthy eating or hobbies. He felt constantly exhausted and found it difficult to recover. In many companies, employees and CEOs suffer from excessive demands, overwork, bad mood, too little time for private life, hardly any opportunities for regeneration. Most of us respond to increasing demands at work with longer working hours that inevitably cause physical, mental and emotional damage. This leads to rising employee health costs. This book wants to be a solution for these problems. The authors explain, energy arises from four main sources in humans. The physical energy, the emotional energy, the mental energy and the spiritual energy. In each of these areas, energy can be systematically expanded and regularly renewed. These happen by establishing certain rituals, measurements and behaviors that are consciously planned and practiced. Goal is to make them unconscious and automatic as quickly as possible. Idea number two. The physical energy. Everyone knows it, only few do it. Our bodies need a good mix of stress and rest. Humans are not made to sit all day. We are made to move and to live healthy. This physical energy promoted through exercise, nutrition, sleep and rest. From the first start on, take inventory. Write down your self-evaluation. How do you rate yourself with physical energy and the aspects mentioned concretely? Let us consider some betterments for your physical energy. Fixed bed times are very important. Sleep at least 7 hours. In best case it is quality sleep. Darken your room, eliminate noises, start a calming evening ritual with. These are only some keywords. More details unfortunately would go beyond the scope here. Set as a long term goal sports. For example, calisthenics or weight training two or three times per week. And additionally, three times per week of endurance sports would be helpful too. Recommendation is not to want too much at once, of course. Start with five or with ten minutes a day. That should be possible. Tabata workout is a keyword for those who only invest five minutes and want to affect a lot good things. Last aspect we want to talk about here is nutrition. It is a big issue in the Western world. Keywords would be as little processed foods as possible. Rule of thumb, the fewer ingredients on the backside of packaging, the better the food is. So for example, incorporate healthy foods more often like walnuts, flaxseed oil, 85% dark chocolate, curd and berries, vegetables, water, tea, and several herbs. Idea number three. The emotional energy. 
Everyone knows when we feel bad, feel pressure, privately there are problems, then we are less efficient in many tasks. Here I give a few suggestions on how you can improve that energy immediately. Very, very important, consciously practice gratitude. Take in time each day for that. Write down three things you are grateful for. There are many studies from positive psychology here, which confirm how important it is. Gratitude massively improves our physical and emotional conditions. Just give it a try. In business, expressing appreciation is important to your colleagues or other persons from your company or from your working place. Appreciation is very important to help other people to know, yes, I do something good. We all like to hear what we do good. And, of course, if you want, you can appreciate our work here now by giving a thumbs up for this video. Next aspect within this emotional energy, breathing techniques. Very important, very effective. So, only one proposal here. Sit down, breathe in for two seconds, hold your breath for eight seconds, breathe out for four seconds. This stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, rests it and provides inner peace. Such breathing techniques can be found from the ancient yogis or the Apaches to the Navy Seals or in the work of very good coaches. CEO of Sony, for example, established this breathing technique as a substitute habit for smoking after the coaching here from the book authors. And our last point here within this energy, it is very important how you deal with things happen to you. Solution here, tell you the most hopeful and personally powerful story possible without denying or downplaying the facts. Except what you cannot change and try to find something good in any occasion. Idea number four, the mental energy. The motto for this energy is eliminate distractions and work focused. Be aware beforehand. What distracts me constantly? Make a list here. Take specific avoidance measures in advance. For example, put the smartphone in a drawer. That's effective. Turn off all distractions. And the smartphone is nowadays one of the biggest distractions. Work focused on only one thing at a time for maximum of 60 minutes. Very important, incorporate breaks. Your brain needs them. The body works in cycles. Recommend taking a break of 5 to 15 minutes at least every hour. Move a little while there's breaks. Eat something, look out of the window, go for a walk, take breathing techniques or meditation, listen to some music. This helps you to regenerate. And the last aspect we want to deal with here within the mental energy is prioritizing. Every evening define the one most important thing for the next day. The one thing that makes everything else redundant or less important. That is the biggest lever ever. Just defining this one important thing improved CEOs or employees productivity tremendously. Idea number five. Spiritual energy. This is the experience of meaning, or this means your why. Other people tell it, they call it the higher purpose in life. Reflect on that minimum one time per week. Why do I do what I do? What do I want to be remembered for? In work life, for my family, my children, my friends, how do I want to have lived? Volunteering has helped me a lot here and defining higher goals and personal values. Also important, incorporate more of your own strengths. Delegate the rest if possible. And the most important here, I think, 
take more time for important and fun things in your life, for example for a family, hobbies or traveling. Summary of the video We have to keep an eye on our four energies. Then we will be healthier, more efficient and happier. The physical energy Make sure you get regular quality sleep. Exercise at least three times a week. A good start, here is only five minutes. Start with small but continuous steps forward. Pay attention to your nutrition with natural foods. This will make you healthier, younger and stronger. Emotional energy. Reduce negative emotions. Prolong positive emotions. Ask yourself every day for three things you are grateful for. Express appreciation to colleagues, family and friends. Practice regular conscious breathing techniques. Make your inner dialogue a constructive and encouraging companion. These things will make you more resilient and calm and successful. The mental energy. Evaluate distraction factors and reduce them beforehand. Create spaces and times without distractions. Work fully focused for one hour maximum, then take a break. Devote yourself to things that you enjoy and contribute to recovery. Combine certain activities into blocks, for example answering emails only within one block. And within these 60 minutes you only concentrate on this one thing, emails. Very important here in general, set priorities. What is the most important task today? The spiritual energy. Take time regularly for your inner life. How do I feel right now? What I'm doing? What do I want to be remembered for? How can I increase what I enjoy doing? What is my higher purpose? What people do I want to spend more time with? And when exactly do I do that? Write three things in the comments that you would like to improve in your energies. Have a good week and see you next time.